episode, this is where we look up to see who is the traitor of the key code to the rule book here. And with this, you have the crystal ball in the kitchen. So, with that, it's number 23, the left of the haunt revealer. So, she ends up becoming the traitor. So, she'll be reading this passage, but we're playing this as if Darren was the main character since he went first, so we're not going to know what she's trying to do, but we have to stop her, the three of us, and let's get this set up. So we've got everything set up on the villain side. I think you guys are going to like this. Tentacled or is our mission, and we've already set up the enemy.
crystal ball so the crystal ball he has to roll four die and this is going to determine where the head is located and we have a six in the conservatory one so we rearranged the board just a little bit here and i uh, put the ball's room in the uh, last area there so the Access this is by the coal chute. And when we get into the coal chute, that'll put us all the way into the basement landing right over here, which is just a couple of spaces away from the balls. We have to do the three points of damage with the might roll tokens that we added to it. Uh, so we've done the hard part, and now it's just doing the damage. Let's see if we can make this happen in this timely fashion. speed of six it cost one to escape the room so that's one two three four five six not enough to actually get to there and longfellow has a speed of five one two three four five again not good enough to get there either um but luckily peter has a speed
wants to die. Okay, so I don't do any damage to the head. But... Old Professor is done. So it's just Darren versus the tentacles. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Did to knock him back into the furnace room. Or we're going to be just serious trouble.